Hello everyone! Are you ready to learn? Let's begin! Let's have a quick review about solution. Can you identify the solute and solvent in the given solution? We have here orange juice. What is the solute in this solution? Yes, correct. Juice powder. How about the solvent? Correct. Water. Try this. Chocolate drink. What is the solute in this solution? Correct. Choco powder. How about the solvent? Very good. Water. Coffee or coffee drink. What is the solute in this solution? Yes, correct. Coffee powder. How about the solvent? What is the solvent in this solution? Correct. Water. Now, let's have an experiment. In this activity, the materials we need are cornstarch, spoon, clear glass, and water. First, you need to prepare the materials. Now, far 5 tablespoon of cornstarch on a clear glass with water. Stir it thoroughly or stir it well. Stir the mixture very well. Now, leave it for 5 minutes undisturbed. Observe what will happen. After 5 minutes, the mixture looks like this one. Observe what happened. Let's answer some questions about your observation. In what state of matter were the corn starts and water belong before mixing them? Yes, correct. Corn starts is solid while water is liquid. What happened to the corn starts when mix it with water? Yes, correct. It mixed up with water. After you leave it for 5 minutes undisturbed, what did you observe? Yes, the corn starts settle down. You can see that the water and corn starts separated from each other. The mixture of water and cornstarch is what we call suspension. What is a suspension? Suspension contains larger particles that settle out when left undistributed, and it is a heterogeneous mixture. Have you tried mixing oil and water? What have you observed? 
A mixture of oil and water is a suspension. You can mix oil and water together and shake as hard as you like, but they will separate after some time. While water often mixes with other liquids to form solution, oil and water do not. Water molecules are strongly attracted to each other. It is the same with oil. They are more attracted to their own molecules. When left undistributed or undisturbed, oil floats above the water because it has lower density than water. Have you tried mixing sand and water? What have you observed? Mixture of sand and water is an example of suspension. As described the appearance of this suspension. How many faces are visible? Yes, two. What happened to the sand? Correct. It settled at the bottom. There are some substances that do not mix when combined. They just settle at the bottom or float on top. For example, a combination of water and oil and a mixture of sand and water. These are some examples of suspension. Same thing will happen if we mix pebbles and water. Soil and water. Flour and water. Gasoline and water. Vinegar and cooking oil and many more. There are different uses of suspension. We can see suspensions when we build houses, roads, and buildings. And this is when water is mixed with sand and gravel, or it is used as construction materials. Most of the food we eat is an example of suspension. For example, halo-halo, peanut butter, and bagoong. Some suspensions are also used as condiments or for food preparation. For example, rice and water, vinegar and pepper, soy sauce and garlic. Some suspensions are used for medicine, such as syrup and antibiotics. Other suspensions are used for decorations, like aquarium. You learn about suspension. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture on which particles do not dissolve completely. Particles float on top or settle at the bottom. The suspension can be used as construction materials, food, condiments or for food preparation, medicines, and decorations. Let's find out if you have learned something from my discussion. Which of these mixtures is a suspension? Yes, correct. Water and marbles. What else? Very good. Stones and water. And the last one. Very good. Oil and water. That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.